Hey guys, so today we're going to talk to you about schools. More specifically, what to expect from Florida schools when you're moving here from a different state. We're going to talk about the emotional ups and downs and some of my advice that I can give to you to help you get through that. We make all sorts of videos with information about moving to Florida and all the fun things you can do once you get here. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that bell so you don't miss any of our uploads, and give this video the big thumbs up. Before we get into the video, we wanted to take a second and tell everybody about this awesome app we've been using called BusyKid. It's a chore app that allows parents to assign tasks to their children and then pay them in digital currency. You can pay your kids for things like brushing their teeth, taking out the garbage, doing the dishes, or even cleaning your car. You, as the parent, get to decide how much they can spend and how much they can save. They can even choose to invest their money in the stock market. And the best part about this app, it's free! Check out their website in our description below. So I think Eric could probably agree, we put this video off for way too long. Way too long. And I will be honest, I do have a lot of reservations doing this video. My hope is that this is a big help. My fear is that we may not have enough experience quite yet to give you the full picture. This is gonna be more about, again, how most of our videos are, is in our experiences and our opinions. And honestly, I know Lindsay has a lot to say about this, so this is gonna be pretty much her telling it like it is. I wanna start off with that I've had a lot of self-reflecting in the last month or so when it comes to this topic. And I actually had a really, really good conversation with my older sister who happens to be a school teacher. Hi, Jesse. Most of you that have been following our journey from the beginning know that our children since moving here about a year ago have been to two different schools. Our first school that the children were at, they lasted probably about a week. Um, it was a public school and it just was not a good fit for our family. With that being said, the second school that they're at now, I'm gonna be honest, in the beginning, there were some bumps. We're getting there, things are getting better, but again, going back to that self-reflecting and the really, really good conversation I had with my sister is I think that a big part of my problem and a big part of my struggle that I went through the last year or so is that I moved to Florida from a very small town in Wisconsin. Um, the teachers, some of the teachers that taught my children back in Wisconsin were my teachers growing up. My kids sat in the same preschool classes that I sat in when I was their age. We made this decision to move to Florida, right? Right. We made it. So I don't want to say that I have to just forget everything back home. But my problem is, is that I walked into these schools off the bat. You were, I don't mean to jump in, but I think you expected them to be just like it was where we came from. Yeah. And I immediately judged every single situation, every single teacher, and I looked at them and I was hard on them because it wasn't back home. Right. And it and it wasn't what I'm used to and it wasn't what my kids are used to and I And that's not fair to them. No, it it's not fair. It's not fair to them. So reflecting in myself and looking back at the first six months and how much I struggled in this certain area of change, I kind of feel like I, not that I did this to myself, but I feel like I was a part of the problem. Kind of like I was my worst enemy, so to speak. And, and I was too, to be honest. It's not just Lindsay. It's, we were both expecting, you know, what we, had back in Wisconsin and like I said before that's not fair to the teachers here because things are done differently and I think what made it really hard is that we did go through some I want to say we did go through some not okay things here with some teachers and I think it made it harder for me to give others a chance because 
I did so much blaming myself. Here we go. With struggling with feeling like this is my fault that the kids went through certain situations because I took them out of a really, really good school and then on top of it, I took them away from their family and everything they knew and I I felt, so to speak, like I just threw them through the to the wolves and some of the things my kids went through weren't okay and I looked at it a lot like back home that, that would never have happened to them. That would have never happened to them if we stayed back in Wisconsin. So I think because we went through those situations, it was harder for me to get out of it and to give other people a chance and other teachers. Looking at it though, I believe, although Lindsay's worked up, that our kids handled these situations like yeah. champs. They didn't let it get to them. They weren't all torn up. They weren't saying, I want to move home no. necessarily. I mean, they. it was more guilt on my part and Lindsay's part of feeling like it's our fault for putting them in situations where they could feel this way, even though they necessarily didn't. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to you when I say that I feel like this would be a perfect move if obviously if my family were here, but if I could take the school and take all the teachers and bring them here. And part of that is that we were so comfortable where we came from. It's And the, they loved my kids. Yeah, and the, we're learning teachers here love our kids too. It's just creating whole new relationships. And if you're going to move here, you need to be ready for that. Yeah, you do. And and that's where I'm going to go back to the, to the reflecting. I, again, I talked to my sister and she's a teacher. She teaches where my kids went to school and... I think we kind of hit it on the head together where we made this decision as a family to move here. And not that I have to leave like Wisconsin behind me. I just, I have to, I have to put it behind me. And I have to, I have to go into these situations that are new whether it be doctors, whether it be schools, and I have to go in there and forget. I can't keep comparing and, and walking into these places and going, well, my kids' school back home, they did it like this. They did it this way. Because you know what? I'm not in Wisconsin anymore. I'm in Florida. And just because they don't do things the way that Wisconsin did doesn't mean it's bad right it just means that it's just different and I think that I was very naive coming into this move that I I really think I thought I was I thought I could find the exact of what we used to have and I think what I'm trying to say is my biggest advice that I can say to you if you're if you're in a situation like Eric and I are and you have kids and they're used to something and you're used to something, the biggest thing you can do for yourself is not leave, not forget where you came from, but you have to go in this with an open mind. Yeah, and not expect it to be the same because it's not going to. It's not going to, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. We, we do have teachers here that love our kids. We're getting there. We're creating these relationships um, but it's starting from scratch. It is starting all over again. And I guess that's all I, my biggest advice that I can say to you is you can't come in here comparing. You can't, even with doctors, even with, you just can't. You can't go into these situations looking in the rear view mirror because you can't be looking forward and backwards at the same time. That's really good. Yeah, I thought so. So for those of you that were hoping to get more on the information of admissions and different types of schools and how to enroll and all that stuff, we'll make another video about that in the near future. Um, there's just some things that we wanted to get off of our chests 
and share our experiences with you guys just so that you don't come into a situation like we did totally unknowing. We wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up. And with talking with my sister, I mean, I think she was right. I mean, we have to get more experience under our belt to truly be able to answer this question for you and truly be a help. The biggest thing we can just keep telling you about the schools is know your location where you're moving. Know your surroundings, do your research, and if you have the time, that's gonna be your biggest thing because the thing with our situation is everyone knows if you had followed us, you know, we were naive. We thought we could come down here, hey, we're, we're right next to a bunch of A-rated schools, no biggie, we're gonna get right in. Wasn't the case. So our children defaulted to the public school. Well, in the middle of a school year, now we're trying to pull them out effective immediately and now we have three children we have to get into school. So again, it was very much a shotgun. We have to find anything better than what they're in right now. Right. And so again, time is going to be on your side. And if you have it, use it and, and know your location and, and just, we cannot express enough to do your research. We can be here with you and help you along the way. But I think for us to give you ex an exact, like this, you know what I mean? Like down to the nitty gritty, it's not fair to you. And I think this, us sharing this experience with you and what our life has been for the last month um, even longer, longer. way last longer, year. the last year, <laughs> well, yeah, of just the ups and downs with the schools. I just, I wanted to be honest and I feel like we prolonged this video long enough and I just felt like this was the time and it was the time. This is the best advice I can give you when you're leaving somewhere and putting things behind you. To be clear all of our experience with the schools has not been negative by any no, means. We no. have certain teachers that we have great wow. relationships mm -hmm. with and that we feel completely comfortable with, just like the teachers we had yes. back in Wisconsin. And it's not necessarily just the teachers that we're talking about either. It's the whole system that- Learning. Goes, yeah, the whole, all you gotta get older. used. Everything's new, you know? It's not the same going into the office in the schools mm -hmm. here in Florida as it is going into the office where we're at in Wisconsin, yep. where you walk in. And everyone says, oh, hey, Eric, or hey, Lindsay, mm -hmm. let me go get Miles for you. He's yep. right down in the room. Come I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's just getting used to because things are done differently and you got to go mean, into the situation realizing that. Even the, just thinking back about that, even all the projects I would make for the teachers back home mm -hmm. and stuff, it's just, it's different. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, you said it's, you weren't going to cry. Again. I know. It's just, I miss. I miss the schools back home and I miss everybody in them. And I miss how much they loved my kids. And I miss the things that aren't gonna happen with them. I miss that they won't see my kids through to graduation, but that's okay because now we're making, we're making different memories here and we're, we're building different relationships. And we decided to make this move. So. We did, and my and I wanna be clear on this too because I don't want people to be like, oh my gosh, you, you know, you guys need to go home or um, I don't wanna make this move. I don't wanna deter you because no, I no, want no. you to understand that my children love their school. Right, they And do. they love their friends. And it's harder for me as an adult way harder than um than they are our kids are doing fine they are doing i think what made it harder and i cannot trust that enough is the things they went through in the beginning that were lack of planning on our end so that's where all of these emotions are coming from is the things that they had to go through with what happened in the beginning hey and now we got a homeschooling for the rest of the year anyway <sighs> That's true, so, but I just, I do want to be clear on that. I want everyone to know so they're not worried. They love their school and they're happy. And we do have some, the kids do have some really good teachers and I know, and I can already see a long-term relationship um, that these kids are going to have with these teachers. I see it 
the future is there. It's bright and I see it. I just wish that we didn't have to go through everything this. we went through to get here. Exactly. So that's why I'm urging you to just, if you have the time, do the research and know emotionally going into this, you have to just look forward. And it doesn't mean you have to put everything behind you and forget where you came from and forget the people there. Going into these new situations like schools, doctors, those kinds of things, look forward mm -hmm. and and don't compare because that's going to be your biggest downfall is when you keep comparing. Well, I just want to put a disclosure on there. Is that the right word? Yeah. Sorry for ugly crying through this whole thing. It's pretty crying. Moms, I'm curious, any of you out there that have made the move, whether here, somewhere yeah, else, sure. Did you go through the same thing? I'm let curious. I, I want to know. So let us down in the comments below. Or if you don't feel comfortable putting it in the comments, message us um, on Facebook. And yeah, I'm curious. I want to know if any other of you have felt the same way that we do. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we are all good, I promise. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. And I feel so much better getting that out and... We'll see you next time. time.